This is the Microsoft Surface Duo 2, a phone that's a lot different from any other smartphone on the market because not only does it fold up, but unlike other folding phones, it doesn't unfold into one giant screen. And instead, you get two big, completely separate screens. Now, inside of the box, all you get is the device itself, your typical documentation and paperwork, and a USB-C cable with no power brick included. Taking a look at the device itself, the first impression here is it looks like a little book. You've got the Microsoft logo on the front cover. On the back, there's that new camera system, which the original Surface Duo didn't have. And around the edges, you have a USB-C port, a volume rocker, and a power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. But it's when you open the device up that the Surface Duo really stands out from other phones, where unlike even other foldables, you get two equally sized 5.8 inch screens that are connected by these little hinges. These hinges are actually capable of rotating the screens a full 360 degrees, meaning if you wanted to, you can fold one of the screens all the way back and just use the other screen like you would a traditional smartphone. But of course, the main reason anybody buys this phone is to use both screens side by side, which brings a totally different experience to the Android operating system that it runs on. Now, if you're like me though, you may be wondering what the point of having two separate screens is. Because on Samsung's Galaxy Fold 3, the benefit of the folding screen is obvious in that you get one continuous big giant screen that makes things like watching YouTube so much better. But unlike the Fold, the Surface Duo is isn't really designed for that. I mean, you technically could combine the screens to display a single piece of content, but then you have this split in the middle, which makes the viewing experience worse, not any better. So at least from what I can tell, the main purpose of the Surface Duo 2 is multitasking. And it does this better than any other smartphone. Because while other phones have obviously had split screen modes, they're all kind of clunky to get into. And as soon as you want to do anything else on the phone, you're taken out of that split screen mode completely. Whereas in the Surface Duo, it doesn't work that way since it's not split screen and instead it's two separate screens where what you do on one screen has no effect on the other unless you want it to. So for example, you can watch YouTube on one screen with it nice and big and use the other screen to do whatever you want as if it was a completely separate phone. You can jump in and out of apps, you can install things from the Play Store, you can play a game, or you can even have two games open side by side. And if you do want to use the two screens together, some apps have actually been enhanced for that second screen like TikTok where it'll show you categories while you watch or Xbox Game Pass where the bottom screen can be used as a controller, which is pretty dope. But the main idea here is two screens can allow you to do more on your phone, similar to how having two monitors lets you do more on a desktop computer. And you know, as good as that idea may sound on paper, the problem is the Surface Duo isn't a desktop computer. It's a phone and people use their phones differently than they do computers. I don't know how often most people will actually take advantage of using both screens at the same time. In fact, I would bet that 90 plus percent of the time that second screen would go completely unused, which to me kind of defeats the purpose of this entire device. And it really makes the drawbacks hurt all that much more. With the phone being thicker due to it being basically two screens sandwiched together, it's a lot wider, which makes it really hard to use with one hand and kind of tough to fit it into a pocket. There's no cover screen, so anytime you want to use the phone or even just check a notification, you have to unfold it. And let's not forget that it's really expensive starting at $1,500. So while I think the Surface Duo 2 is cool and is without a doubt the best multitasking phone, I think most people should still steer clear. 